Alright, so it looks like Art Bar V pulled Cardi B all the way out of character today. She had Cardi in her feelings with the Twitter fingers going hard, dropping all kind of stuff, and you know what I'm saying? Pretty much falling to the hands of what Art Bar wanted her to do, you know what I'm saying? I mean, get me my attention. But anyway, before we even get into this, y'all go ahead, y'all know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and comment down below and go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And we're going to get into some of this tea weekly. So anyway, let's get to this situation. Alright, so let's start out with Akbar and Cardi B going to this Twitter war. It started out about something had to do with a song and charts. So Cardi B pretty much was like, she went into the sub tweet and then Akbar was like, yeah, if, if she talking about me, she can just at me, you know what I'm saying? Why sit around and keep playing with just hit just put an ad on it? So then something happened. You can read the messages here. I'm gonna put them up here so you can see them. Something happened as where Akbar actually put an ad at it. And when she put that ad at it, Cardi B picked up the phone, you know what I'm saying, made her little phone call, like, hey, what's going on? Pretty much trying to check Akbar. Akbar like, hold on, who gave you my number? You ain't, you ain't finna check me. Who gave you my number? What? Okay, so they going at it back and forth. So, it gets so bad that they start calling out each other for all the different types of situations. And I'm going to put these messages up here on the screen. And you can see how far they went. Now, I can go deeper to what the story is, but it seems as if this time, Offset get into it. So, Artbar hit him with the, oh, yeah, you're going to let me call them four pocket fool and know you, that's a little baby in them, just in case you don't know. And, so then she, they start making these little acts at each other, like, yeah, Offset ain't been the same since they snatched this chain, had him running behind a club called Compound in Atlanta, so... Anyway, I'm going to put these messages up here. Y'all read through them. Y'all let me. Man, listen, Cardi B. Barty. Bitch, nobody is scared of you or your husband. I swear to God. Like, this on Jesus Christ, daddy. Bitch, your nigga be breakdancing, ticking, moonwalking all in the club with all that dumb ass shit. Bitch, I'm scared of y'all. Like, he's not a gangster. I don't fear nothing with him. Like, I don't even get scared by even standing with this nigga. That nigga can have, like, 17 guns. I would never think I'd get shot. I think he'll just start doing some crit talker shit like, in rush hour three like bitch, what is wrong with you he's not a gangster how he snitching on himself but that boy got his ass struck uh -huh. chain snack hey i could call them folk back get that chain that's how plugged in i am bitch you don't even you 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 can't you can't come to bleeding you can't come to bleed the carter you can't come over there in my hood you said you don't talk to somebody in my hood okay whatever you making up this shit on online but yeah that, that, that fight that you and your sister get, look i might have did get my ass beat a couple years ago. You know I done lost on one song. Listen, Cardi, but you and your sister got beat up. Me and my sister never got beat up. <laughs> you dig what I'm... You know what's going on with this situation right here with Cardi being an ball. She really took Cardi out of her character. Something that she probably shouldn't have done if you so much bigger than an ball. Why you even go with her? But tell me what y'all think about this in the situation down below. I kept this short, sweet, and simple because I know y'all seen some of this stuff already. And if y'all haven't, then give me some more insight to what's been going on. But look at these text messages here. This whole issue with them. Tell me what y'all think about in the comments down below. Oh, and don't get it twisted. They both had something to say about each other. Let me know what y'all think about in the comments down below. She's the tough gangster and everything. You know, a lot of a lot of bitches subtweet me, but to me, a lot of bitches to me are pussy, and a lot of bitches they just little girls to me. But this is a grown woman, so I, you know, you talk that gangster shit. I wanted to know, like, all right, let me just DM her and everything. But then she backtrack and say, I don't care if Cardi write this, she make good songs, whatever. So you know, I let her be. So then, because wait, uh, then because. Kyle from the neighborhood talk, he by mistake, mistake. but clout and fucking cookie treats. Y'all want doggy treats. 
And um, I'm never going to do that shit again because it's like, as a day, it's never what, it, it's never what it seems. Fun. That was fun. But, you know, now I got to gotta pick up my kid and then we gotta go see a couple of dance classes uh, cause you know I'm a mother first um thank you guys for all the support that you guys been showing uh the tomorrow 2 record still number one on apple uh 6 million views in 3 days all because of y'all make sure y'all keep streaming I love y'all and tell me you love me tell me you love me Barty gang right now thank you Wait, matter of fact, if you want to show me that you love me, you show that you show me that you're streaming per. <laughs>